Frigate birds are gothic birds. They hang in the air like dark angels of death, rarely moving their long pointed wings. An area with a lot of soaring frigate birds has a sinister feel. They can remain airborne for several days, sometimes sleeping while on the wing. They are so named because they reminded sailors of fast warships called frigates. These boats were also called man of war ships, and likewise frigate birds are sometimes called man of war birds. They are most closely related to boobies, anhingas, and cormorants. There are five frigate bird species in the world, and most stay in tropical and subtropical latitudes. To see a frigate bird in the United States, your best chance is in South Florida, and during migration, in Texas near the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Many nest on Caribbean islands and along the coasts of Central and South America. The footage in this video was shot in the Galapagos Islands where two species of frigate birds breed, the Magnificent and the Great. These two species obviously impressed the people who named them. The males of the two species appear all dark and can be difficult to tell apart. If you see them at close range in good light, the male magnificent frigate bird's feathers have a purplish sheen, while the male great frigate bird's feathers have a greenish sheen. Here is a close-up of a great frigate bird's feathers. The most prominent feature of a male's sexual display is his inflated guler pouch. The male has a small patch of bare pink skin on his throat. But when he is trying to impress females, the pouch looks like a giant red inflated automobile airbag. There are small black feathers growing on the edges of it. The males gather in leks, hoping to attract females to mate with them. A lek is a display area, which derives from a Swedish word meaning play. The females fly by the leks and will land near a male whose display attracts her. Males will also shake their head, clatter their bill, and spread their wings as part of the display. The females are larger than the males and have a lot of white on the breast. Frigate birds are not territorial. They typically build their nest on top of bushes. The nest is loosely constructed of sticks and twigs. The male gathers the material and the female arranges it. Frigate birds nest in large colonies, often with nests close together. There sometimes is conflict between birds in adjoining nests. The concentration of nests in a small area also creates problems for frigate birds from introduced predators and conflicts with human habitation. Such factors have resulted in numerous frigate bird colonies being destroyed. A nesting female will lay one egg. Both the male and the female will incubate the egg and attend to the nestling. The nestling is born naked and will grow its coat of white down after about two months. No effort is made to remove the droppings that accumulate in the nest. Young frigate birds will leave the nest five or six months after hatching, but will sometimes be dependent on the parents for food for more than a year. Here are a couple of young frigate birds being fed. The young reach far down the adult's throats to get the food. You can hear the wailing calls of the frigate birds, which could be used on Halloween to haunt a house. The adult males stay around for only half of the long period of care that their young require from conception to independence. The care during the second half is left to the female while he goes off to find another mate. Under this system, the males breed every year while the females breed every other year. Frigate birds are not shy. Sometimes one would land on our boat and I could walk up to within a few feet of it to take photos. Their long tail, small feet, and short legs make them incapable of walking. Their feathers are not waterproof, so they do not sit on or dive into the water. Most of their diet consists of flying fish or food they can snatch from the surface of the water. They also use their long hooked bill to menace other seabirds. They engage in kleptoparasitism, which means they steal food from other birds. Sometimes the other bird has already swallowed the food. 
Frigate birds are not above eating what other birds vomit. This practice was noted by Christopher Columbus in one of his journals. Among the birds they harass are boobies, gulls, and tropic birds. I saw one grab a red-billed tropic bird by the base of the tail, trying to make it disgorge its meal. The tropic bird managed to get free and settle on the water. Frigate birds have not been well studied despite the number of avian superlatives about them. They have the largest wing area to body mass ratio of any bird in the world. The female takes care of her offspring longer than any other bird species in the world. Frigate birds are the only sea birds known to have different breeding cycles for males and females. The plumage difference between male and female frigate birds is greater than for any other male and female seabirds. But even if you don't care about any of these things, frigate birds are worth seeing for their gothic creepiness. If you want to see creatures who look as if they were created by the artist Edward Gorey or Charles Adams, frigate birds are for you.